Welcome to my channel. This is uh, JC Rock and Minute Reviews. My name is John. I'm going to be uh, jumping on a thread started by uh, the flip side of the vinyl community with JC. It is uh, the top 10 songs by Aerosmith. I know a lot of other channels have done this, so uh, definitely go check out their, uh, their channels, give them some subs. I know like a physical format, rock and roll with Gary, uh, Jeff Witcher's Vinyl uh, Destination, and uh, Aaron Muth Alamar. I know they've all done their Aerosmith videos. So this is a band I've always liked. I uh, didn't listen to them growing up that much, but I got into them, you know, when I was a teenager, I started listening to more like hard rock and metal. It, uh, I started like getting into them around the time when they released the Pump album, and that's uh, one of those albums I've always liked. But most of the list is uh, from their like 70s albums, and I do have one song from the Get a Grip album, but I don't think I have anything from after that. So let me uh, jump right into it. So coming in at number 10 is Make It. This is their uh, first song from their first album. Really good hard rock song. It has pretty cool riffs in the intro. It has uh, the galloping guitar. A really nice rocker. Kind of kicks off the album really good and introduces the band. And great song. At number nine, I have What It Takes. And this is the first song I have from the Pump album. And out of all the 80s ballads, like this is the one that I like the best. It's really catchy, doesn't feel overplayed, has a really great melody and a song that I've always liked. At number eight, I have Back in the Saddle. This is from the Rocks album. I've always liked the slow building intro and it has those like horse sounds, uh, you know, right before the first verse. The song has some really great like guitar riffs. Some of the best uh, they've ever done and lots of great guitar feels. At number seven, I have uh, Draw the Line, and another great song with a great intro riff, and this is one of those songs I remember like trying to learn on, on the guitar, you know, when I first started playing. This is an awesome album opener, lots of energy in the song, and the album is very underrated. I really like the Draw the Line album. So at number six, I have the uh, Eat the Rich from uh, the Get a Grip, and um, this album is mostly remembered by those like three ballads, Crazy, Amazing, and whatever the other one was called. I don't like those songs. Those ones are really overplayed, and, but I really like the deep cuts. Um, this album has some good ones on it. Eat the Rich, really love this one. It's a great deep track. Really love the guitar riff in the intro. Rest of the song is fast paced, has uh, lots of energy. And uh, next is number five, Nobody's Fault from Rocks. Now, I think I started getting into the song after I heard the Testament cover version, but that cover, I don't really like that much. I really like the original, just one of like the heaviest Aerosmith songs. Steven Tyler kind of sings in like a darker tone. But at the same time, it's a really catchy chorus, so it's a great song. At number five is Train Kept a Rolling from Get Your Wings, so this one's a classic. Another song I remember learning on the guitar, it kind of like mimics like this train whistle and like the rest of the guitar riffs are awesome. The song has a nice groove, one I've always liked. It has really great uh, guitar solos and if you didn't know, this is a cover song. I, I think like the Yardbirds did this uh, one as well many years ago. But it's a great song. At number, uh, what am I up to? I think three or four, I lost my track. But anyway, I have No More No More. Awesome deep cut from the Toys in the Attic album. It has this like slow building intro, really great blues rock sound. Really like the backing vocals. Uh, you know, the, you hear that between the verses and that makes the song very catchy. Some really great uh, rock riffs in the middle of the song and has always been one of my favorites. And at number two, I have a uh, Dream On, kind of an obvious choice, but it's just a song I've always loved. I don't really get tired of it, even though it's been played to death, but I, I like it, and it's just a really great song, and it's just really stood the test of time as being a great song. My number one pick is uh, Janie's Got a Gun. Now, it's from the Pump album. You know, it's a song that kind of deals with like a very dark and sensitive topic, but it was a hit back when the album came out. It's just very slow, it's kind of brooding, and it's dark, but it has a really great melody, and um, the band took this dark topic and made it a hit. Has also one of like the, the best like, guitar solos from out of any of their songs. So kind of go back and listen to that song if you haven't heard it in a while. It's a great song and that's my uh, number one. So that is all um, 
Up next, uh, I will be doing some anniversary reviews. Um, you know, I, I have been doing uh, Iron Maiden, ACDC, Anthrax, and Deep Purple. So those, uh, check those out. I recently did some other, uh, you know, new releases, uh, Stabbing Westward and Cypress Hill. So you can go back and check those out as well. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, give a sub to the Flipside Violent Community with JC. And see you all in the next one.